Dave here with Half Dozen Customs. Um, I expect this video right now to be a little short lived. Um, today is Friday and the uh, gas company closes in a few hours. Uh, so I gotta try and burn up this gas uh, so that we can go get more before they close. So um, I know. I know last night, like for the last couple days, we've been on zero on the gauge. Um, I don't even hear it uh, filling up the line when you turn it on. Um, I thought they had just tacking that side together last night. I would have ran out. Um, I haven't ran out yet. Uh, so I'm gonna start welding this stuff in solid and hopefully we run out here so that I can go run and go grab that, so. Cleaned up real quick. a little bit before I uh, put this bolt back in. It scared me for a second. I didn't hit the bolt in there when I welded that nut up. I thought I screwed it up, but it was okay. I didn't want to start by hand. But as soon as I hit it with the uh, wrench, it went in no problem. This one just to say if I'll get the bolt back in there. Should have done that on the other one. Yes, yeah. Okay, so just gonna show you guys what I got going on over here. So 
Um, we welded this up solid here. Um, that's ready to be ground down and cleaned up. Uh, then I, I cut the top off. Uh, if you remember, this was, you know, sticking up, you know, a quarter of an inch or so. Uh, maybe even more than that, three-eighths of an inch. Uh, so we cut that off even with the bed. Uh, and then I rounded this around the bolt to match with this guy. So now we can weld him in. So he's ready to go. I'm gonna weld this up right now. Uh, and then we'll probably have to do a little grinding up in this area uh, and here um, just to meet up with my weld from the bolt. Uh, I ran all the way around the top of the bolt from one side of the bed up and over the bolt to the other side of the bed. Welding it not only to the bed, but to the angle iron itself too. So should be good and strong. And then this will cover that bolt and that weld. Uh, and we'll have to, you know, cap this end or something. So, but I'm gonna weld this line up right now and then we'll do a little bit of grinding. Um, and then this can be fit up there. So, but before we fit this guy up, I'll do the other side. So, and you guys only got a couple, couple minutes of battery life left. Hopefully I got I got the other one charging right now. Hopefully there's some in it. Okay. Got him welded up. Nice, beautiful weld. Good and hot. Maybe I won't grind down that welder. What we'll do is we'll we'll notch this cover out to fit over the weld. Uh, that way it'll keep the strength in there. We won't be grinding down any uh, anything structural. Let's get that cooled off a little bit before I put the new cable back on. I just don't wanna I don't wanna put brand new cable on a uh, red hot piece of metal. Just gonna clean up this well here a little bit so that I can get this arch piece of metal on there nicely to mark it. died um couldn't couldn't have been very long uh, but i got this all grinded up cleaned up um, our little cap here uh, fits nicely um, so we will uh finish welding this up hopefully hopefully burn us out of gas gotta be getting closer Don't have a gas yet. Ah! 
<laughs> we gotta be getting closer. Okay, get this guy all folded up, nice and pretty. So I just welded up that back, uh, I stacked my welds on it, welded them up. seen a, a ball of slag in the threads there, I had to pick it out. We're good. We are good. So we're gonna, we're gonna cap these in real nice too. Uh, these corners, we're gonna round them. So I guess we might as well finish that up. Okay, um, got that all welded up. She's ready for her grinding. We should be able to round these corners up real nice. Um, it should look good. But we are still not out of gas.
Yeah, a little, little bit of work. She looks nice and pretty in there. Almost looks like it was meant to be. Um, now, I'll finish up the rest later. I'm still trying to burn up this gas, but I needed to clean up that corner so that we can bolt this back in. So we'll hold up the tailgate while I'm working on the other side. Out of gas. All right, we will uh, continue this welding session a little later on. We did pretty good. You know, we pretty much got that side all welded up. Um, minus maybe a couple of spots that I got hit when I'm grinding. Um, we almost got this whole curve welded in. Um, there's maybe maybe an inch left that I got to weld up. Uh, and then we got to do the two corners. And then this side will be done besides grinding it. Um, 
So, and then once once we finish getting this side welded up and we grind down both sides, uh, then I'm gonna I'm gonna fine tune the pins, pin set up here, and, and we'll get that all welded in solid. Um, when it's time to start body work. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, we got back from the, uh, the Baldwin Glass Supply Place. Uh, hooked back up, ready to go. Um, we got a little birthday party that we got to go to here shortly, so. Just gonna see if I can finish getting this one welded up. Uh, and then we're probably gonna uh, call this this little video here done. So let's get to work. Uh, I just gotta finish welding up this back here a little bit where I ran out of gas, uh, and then we gotta put the curves in on both sides. Wasn't, uh, I like the way that it looked being like that, but it didn't it didn't match the other side. I went over and uh, you see me grab my gauge. Um, this one I had more of a, a slant in it, so um, it looked it looked nice. It's just uh, it didn't match. So. got her gas and uh, when we moved in here there was, there was a, a barn cat here I came with the, the property uh, real skittish didn't want to come by yet. recently he started kind of opening up to us and he was actually coming up to us outside and whatnot um, especially when I was grilling uh, if I was grilling he, he was coming right up to us like asking us for food and whatnot um, I was talking, I was tossing him some steak and whatnot. Um, he got hit by a car this morning, um, about a block, block or a block and a half down the road. So, kind of a bummer. Still young. 
uh, we took him to the vet. He said that he, uh, he said he was dying of a broken heart. Um, so, but anyways, we we kind of we called this cat uh, Marley too because they they looked the same. Well, they were close at least. Just trying to judge from one side to the other how we're, how we're kind of doing here. So a bunch of grinding left to do on it and whatnot, but uh, dude, those babies are done and solid and I'll come out here a little later on this evening after after the party and we'll we'll get these grinded down and, and cleaned up and, and uh, ready to move on to the next step. So. Like I said earlier in the video, next step is, is finalizing these pins. Um, I just kind of had them tacked in place before uh, until we got these done because I didn't want the pin stuff to uh, interfere with this. Um, and we're real close. Last night I had to take an eighth inch off of this pin. Don't ask me why, because that side cleared. This side did not, so I ended up having to take an eighth inch off of this pin, um, weld it back in in the exact same spot that it was before. Um, it's just clearing the bolt now, uh, so I got to pull that side back apart, um, and we got to take an eighth inch off of that side uh, so that they match. Um, I remeasured everything again. Dude, we, we are spot on in the exact same spot as that side. And the cables are tight on both sides. I mean, it is, it's perfect. Why those pins, why, why this side ran into it, I, I have no idea. Um, so, but uh, you know, dude, this somebody made this bed, there's nothing straight about it. So, but uh, that's it. I'm out. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll be back later to finish cleaning this up. So remember, like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Bye-bye.